Ladies and gentlemen, the motion is, this house believes that Facebook is a good thing. <laughs> I, I speak for the motion. Facebook is certainly a phenomenon with 1.44 billion active users in the first quarter of 2015, it's the biggest and best known social network. It's constantly mentioned in the media, often negatively, particularly in relation to young people. However, the media loves a scare story, so I would like to look at the other side of the argument, and I want to make three main points. First, social, the clues in the word. Facebook aids socialization. It provides a large circle of friends and contacts, a way of sharing information and ideas, a way to make new contacts with people who share your interests, a way of keeping in touch with people who move away, students at university or children working abroad. Second, Facebook facilitates the sharing of information. Often, information means opportunity. Here's a personal example. Charlesworth, that wonderful village from whence we come, has a village Facebook page. So what does it tell me and others in my community? What's on at the pub, village club, the sports clubs? Services I can access, dog walking, gardening, hairdressing. How I can get involved, the well dressing, fundraising, village carnival. Useful, real time information. A burst water main has created traffic queues in the village. Oh, and recently, our president, with her musings on the ways we're raising, for raising funds for the centenary and for the village. And all this, it's free. A way for ordinary people to advertise and get in touch. Third, Facebook supports democracy. In a time when so many feel disengaged from the political process, social networks give ordinary citizens power by giving them a voice. On Facebook, you can shout so loud that the whole world hears you. Post a message or internet link on Facebook. All your friends like it. It flies to all their friends and so on. The social media can enable the organisation of demonstrations and protests within hours. The Arrow Spring being the most famous example. I'm going to hand over to Sarah Jane, who's going to give you a different point of view. Facebook is a good thing, my opponent argues. I'm here to show that it is not. Many would say that Facebook keeps people connected and keeps people from losing touch. But what's the bigger picture? Consider, you see your whole life but you may only see edited highlights from your Facebook friends. This is a place ripe for breeding envy and depression. Two 2013 studies, one from Michigan, one from Germany, found that the more people used Facebook, the worse they felt afterwards. Edinburgh Napier University found that Facebook adds stress to users' lives. They're afraid of missing important social information afraid of offending, and they feel pressure to be entertaining, and more. Is it worth that connection if it stresses you out and makes you feel bad? Of course we use Facebook to share information, but in some ways it doesn't work nearly well enough, and in other ways it works too well. Facebook allows you to look into other people's lives, but it never really tells the story of their lives. We all have a deeper life that we would share with real friends, but not with Facebook friends. We are way too polite. As we 
give up that part of ourselves to people who don't even really care about us. Friendship is supposed to be special. Not everyone should be your friend. In marketing, you can never wholly rely on Facebook. Marketers big and small, including Charles W.I., continue to use word of mouth, traditional media, we have posters posted up around the village as well, and seeking customers in person. There are other, better ways to share what we want to share. Especially after the Arab Spring, many think that Facebook is good for democracy. Uprisings have used Facebook, but they use Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, and blogs, and more. Indeed, Facebook's strict real name policy actually makes it less than ideal for protesting totalitarian regimes. In 2002, before Facebook launched in 2004, Argentinian anti-government demonstrations were organized through email lists and in chat rooms, invisible to the government at the time. Protesters used the tools that they had. No matter how big or small the revolution or petition, it's always down to the people pushing it and the action on the street. Social media can play a part, but there is more to social media than Facebook. And Facebook is not good. It is too flawed to continue to be useful to us. So in summary, throughout history, new technology has created fear. And people have sought to get rid of it, from the Luddite smashing machines to the present day. And of course, technology can bring with it danger. Only think of examples such as nuclear weapons and the profound and complex practical and ethical questions they ask us. Technology provides the tools. It's people who use or abuse them. And one thing is certain. You can't uninvent things. It's too easy to condemn and then ignore. So this is what we must do. Educate our young people, just as we do with other risks to their mental and physical well-being, such as drugs and alcohol. Work with others across the world, governments, law enforcers and commercial providers to manage the risk as effectively as possible. But we must not lose the amazing access to free speech and social opportunity that Facebook and other social media provide. Facebook is not a good thing. It is too flawed. In showing us the highlights of our friends, it inflicts envy and depression on many of us. Much like Christmas round robins and days of yore, but now every day of the year. It offers nothing that cannot be filled in better ways. Either old ways or new ways, but with better software. And its monolithic status endangers our privacy in ways we can't even fathom. Spur Facebook. Let it die of natural causes and choose one of the many platforms already rising to replace it, which address the concerns wrought by Facebook. Now that the world has embraced social media, we cannot turn back the hands of time. But we can demand good social networks to use. which they delivered the speeches, which was lovely. 
and you were all very clear and very confident. So that was fantastic too. So well done, all of you. But again, we have to choose a winner. And we have done, and our winner is Charlesworth with Facebook. Yeah.